Hello, my name is Tim Smith, and I'm the Director of Communications at First Presbyterian Church of Dallas, and I'm here to give you an introduction to our new MyFPC portal brought to you by Shelby Next. In communications, we're always looking for ways to keep us connected with each other and to make access to information easy. From the Shelby Next platform, you'll be able to do a number of things. I'm going to show you how to log in to the Shelby Next portal from the website, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction on how to navigate the portal on your computer. So stay tuned and let's do this. You will be receiving an email with your unique username and password for Shelby Next. And once you have this information, logging into the portal is very easy. All you do is load up a browser window in whichever browser you would like. And there are two ways that you will be able to access this portal. One is you can go to the direct link, which is, I'm gonna type it in here, fpcdallas.shelbynextchms.com. And I will click enter. This is where you would put in your own unique username and password to log in for yourself. Another way is go to the FPC website, which is fpcdallas.org. Come over here to this connect tab up at the very top, scroll down to my FPC login and click that. And that will also take you to the same portal that we did from the direct link. Either way, it gets you there. And once here, type in that username and password that you receive. And then I'm going to click log in. All right, and as you can see, I have gotten into the portal. And from here, there are a lot of different ways that you can navigate it. From here, I'm gonna look at my left in this little bar, but you can access the member directory right here. You can access groups that you are a part of and browse groups if you'd like to join them. You can click on this for your giving statement and to give or set up a recurring gift under My Giving. Another way to access the directory is to look at this search bar here at the top that says search for a person by name. You could click here and search for a person. And if once you type in a name or a first name, it will pop up a selection tool and you can just pick the person that you would like to write there and click on their name. Also, you have your little dashboard screen here and you have my giving where you can check your giving statement. You have another button to go to the directory from here. You have a button here that says my info, which is your information on Shelby Next, which you can view and edit. You have this give now button so that if you'd like to give a gift or you'd like to set up recurring giving, you can do so from there. You have your groups button. Again, another button that you can click on to look and see what groups you're a part of or to select a group you'd like to be a part of. And then you have a calendar button to check the full church calendar right down here on the front page. In the upper right hand corner over here, there's a calendar icon and you can click on that as well to access a calendar. And then this button here in the corner, you can always click on that and it will take you to your profile as well. So that if you need to check your information or change any of that information, that would be the place to go here. And that's an introduction to navigating Shelby Next. And there will be more information available to you on our website coming and probably more helpful videos. Uh, but for now, if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact us at shelbyhelp at fpcdallas.org and we will be happy to get back to you and to help you navigate this portal or troubleshoot anything that you might be having trouble with. But for now, it's been great introducing you to Shelby Next and we'll look forward to keep improving what we have to keep us all connected here at FPC Dallas.